Since 2004, the 99942 Apophis asteroid has been tracked by scientists. The initial concern was that it would hit Earth on April 23, 2029. The object is 370 meters in diameter. With the probability of impact being ruled out as unlikely, one question still remains. When will our luck run out? A killer asteroid hurtling towards Earth has been an end-of-the-world scenario explored for decades. While many methods of deflection have been suggested, the idea of using a nuclear bomb is arguably the most popular. But does it work? This is the method you'll probably be most familiar with, as it's been dramatized in big-budget Hollywood films like Armageddon and Deep Impact. How accurate are these movies? If an asteroid's small, there's almost no question that a nuclear blast could obliterate it. But asteroids come in all shapes and sizes, and a smaller rock isn't exactly the kind that would pose a threat to humanity. A rock larger than 6.2 miles in diameter is considered by scientists to be an extinction-class asteroid. This means that once it hits Earth, life as we know it would be destroyed. While Apophis was 370 meters in diameter, an asteroid detected in 2017 was 4,300 meters in diameter. This is the equivalent of 14,000 feet and nearly 3 miles in width, nicknamed Florence. The asteroid was the largest ever recorded. To make matters scarier, this thing passed by Earth. To be fair, it was at a distance of 145 million miles. But given how big space is, that's relatively close. The International Astronomical Union even labeled it as potentially dangerous. What if an object the size of Florence was headed our way? Could a nuke actually stop it? Are you finding this video interesting so far? How about subscribing to our channel? Remember to hit that like button and ring the notification bell to stay up to date on all of our amazing curiosity videos. Scientists have been studying and experimenting with the idea of using nuclear explosives on potential asteroids for years. The idea is to plant the explosive device above, beneath, or inside the object. It depends on the size of the object. Theoretically, detonation will cause the object to break apart or be knocked off course. The sheer force of the explosion will change the asteroid's trajectory, hopefully making it miss Earth. But it wouldn't exactly be Bruce Willis and a ragtag team of oil drillers pushing the button. The people behind the controls will likely be NASA. The problem is, much of this is hypothetical. Since we've never actually been in this position, the only thing we can do now is guess. Well, that and test our guesses through computer simulations. When a nuclear explosion is let off on an asteroid, the energy from the neutrons is converted into thermal heat. When this heat comes in contact with an object, experts hypothesize that the particles ejected will be enough to give the asteroid a type of nudge, one strong enough that will hopefully knock it off its course. But a crucial question that needs to be answered is where exactly would you place the explosive? Scientists have long discussed positioning the bomb above, inside, or below the asteroid, and have calculated the outcome of each. While Hollywood movies seem to always include some elaborate scheme where we drill into the center of the rock and place the bomb within, the most efficient way actually seems to be placing it above the surface. The only problem is the likelihood of it fracturing. Reports from NASA have shown that placing the explosive device on top of the asteroid could blow it into several pieces, creating an even larger catastrophe if the objects continue hurtling towards Earth. Experts have toyed with something they call the standoff approach. This involves setting the bombs off at a distance of 60 feet or more from the rubble. The force of the blasts are meant to knock the asteroid off of its course so it won't collide with our planet. While hearing about this method might make you seem confident, there are actually a couple of roadblocks in the way. Before we continue, looking to learn about other cool science stuff? I know it seems like a pretty dramatic change in subject, but have you ever put a rusty key into a container of Coca-Cola? Check out our recent video on the subject. Now, back to the asteroid deflection. The laws that prevent the use of nukes on Earth actually apply to space as well. If nuclear weapons ever did have to be used, it would need to be approved by the United Nations Committee on the Peaceful Uses of Outer Space. Yes, the UN has several branches. While the use of a nuclear weapon in space is technically banned by the 1996 Comprehensive Nuclear Test Ban Treaty, its use against asteroids would likely be an exception. Since a near-Earth object threatens to do harm against life on our planet, a nuke would be preventing that harm from unfolding. While tons of time and energy have gone into thinking about this option, we don't know if it would work. In all honesty, experts state that the nuke method would be reserved for near-Earth objects we haven't had time to plan for. 
ones that come out of nowhere and suddenly threaten our way of life. Keep in mind, this is not the only option. There have also been other asteroid deflection methods explored by scientists. They've even considered ramming another object into the asteroid to change its trajectory. Intricate devices such as laser beams, rocket engines, and gravity tractors are also on the table. Are you worried about an asteroid hitting Earth? Are you curious about any of the other asteroid deflection methods? Maybe you'd like to see an asteroid deflection series. Let us know in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you. Enjoyed this video? Hit like, share, and subscribe to Curiosity. Wait! Why not fulfill your curiosity by watching these other awesome videos? Go ahead, choose the left or the right video and enjoy!